Okay, problem number 28. It says perform the indicated operations and express in simplest form. And then we have this gigantic polynomial, 3x squared plus 12x minus 15 over x squared plus 2x minus 15 divided by this other polynomial, 3x squared minus 3x and uh, over 3x minus x squared. So there's a, a bunch of different ways we can go about this. Um, we can start factoring stuff out and canceling things and then invert and multiply, or we can invert and multiply first, however you want to go. I personally like to invert and multiply first. Uh, this way, I don't get lost later on in the steps. So we're basically just going to keep this part right here. This part isn't going to change. We're just going to keep that. So copy and paste. How convenient. Right? And now we are going to multiply this because remember we are inverting and multiplying. So we're going to multiply this by, and forgive my crudeness here, folks, uh, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of this. So this will be our numerator. Control C, Control V. Right? That will now be on top. And we are going to divide that. Right? We're going to divide that by the bottom part, the, the top portion right here, which is this. So Control-C, Control-V, that's how I copy-paste, right? Okay, so now we've transformed the problem. We've just inverted and multiplied uh, by this. Okay, now we're ready to start doing some factoring. All right, and let's see. Let's just start with the top left and, and work our way across. So I see that there's a 3, a 12, and a 15. That tells me that I can easily factor out a 3, so let me do that. 3 times, and then I have x squared plus, that's going to be 4x, and then minus 5, right? And then down here, I'm still going to have the same thing, x squared plus 12x minus 15. So I'll just write that x squared plus 2x minus 15. Right, and I'm going to multiply that by, let's see if I can factor out anything here. I see a 3x minus an x squared, so there's an x and there's an x. So x times 3 minus x. Okay, and then the denominator, I see I have a 3, a 3, and an x, and an x. So I can factor out a 3x, in fact, and I will be left with x minus 1. Excellent. Okay, now let's do a little bit of canceling before going on to the next step. So here I see an x in the numerator, an x in the denominator, so I can cancel them. They're gone. I also see this 3 in the numerator and this 3 in the denominator, so those guys are gone. And I can do this because I'm multiplying the fraction, so effectively I just have one big gigantic fraction bar like this. Right? Excellent. So let's go to the next step where we are going to we're going to factor these quadratic polynomials. X squared plus four x minus five. Right? So two numbers that multiply to negative five and add to positive four. That's going to give me x. This is how I like to factor polynomials like this. And I have x, x, I know I've got to have 5, and I've got to have 1. So that's got to be a plus 5, and that's going to be a minus 1. right? That just factored this right here. I factored that out. Now, we're going to keep the 3 minus x right here, because that's not going to change. We'll draw our bar. And then x squared plus 2x minus 15. Now we need two numbers that multiply to 15 and add to positive 2. So again, x close, x close parentheses, right? Uh, 5 and 3 multiply to 15. And let's see, we want them to add to 2. So once again, we're going to have a plus 5 and a minus 3. And then over here, we're just going to keep the x minus 1. All right, so now we're going to do a little bit more canceling. The x plus 5 and this x plus 5 are going to cancel. They're gone. Now, notice we have 3 minus x and x minus 3, right? Okay, so just as an aside, note that if I multiply negative 1 times x minus 3, 
I get 3 minus x. Because it distributes, I have a minus x and a plus 3, and then I've just rearranged them. So what I'm saying here is that I can cancel this, x minus 3, and 3 minus x, and what I'll be left over with is this negative 1, right? Because I've factored the negative 1 out of this expression. So what I have here is now negative 1 times oops, x minus 1 over x minus 1. But check that out. The x minus 1 and the x minus 1 cancel. So the entire thing turns into negative 1. That is the answer.